everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. So I know that people usually do these with their partner when they're expecting a baby. I have neither of those things with me right now. So I am filming this video all by myself. I saw that Gabby did it the other week and that was like confirmation for me that it's socially acceptable to do this video by yourself. So without further ado, these are the baby names that I love but will not be using for my children. But don't hold me to this, like if I have a baby in the future and I do call it one of these names, don't be like, oh you said you weren't gonna name it that because you never know what's gonna happen, do you? So I'm gonna start off with girls' names. I have 10 girls' names that I really like and I have seven boys' names and these aren't including the names that I think I'm gonna call my children. So, starting off with girls, the first name that I really, really like is Bluebell. I really like flower names for girls. Members of my family are called Jasmine, Daisy, I really love that theme and I think Bluebell is quite an unusual flower name. I like unusual names but I don't like ultra unusual. I'm kind of like a little bit too scared to do that but I don't like really common names either. I don't really have any reason that I wouldn't use Bluebell to be honest. It's just not one of the names that comes to like the forefront of my mind but the more I think about it the more I think do you know what I do actually really like that name. The next name is Rosie. I really like this however I don't like it being shortened to Rose but I feel like people would naturally shorten it to Rose and that would really get on my nerves so for that reason I will not be using the name Rosie but I do absolutely love that one. The next name is a little bit more unusual it is Willow and for the same reason really is that I wouldn't want it to be shortened to Will for a girl. I really don't like that for a girl. I like boys names on girls that sound cute as you will like find out for everyone in the video but names like Andy for a girl things like that I think is really adorable but Will not a girl's name in my opinion <laughs> which is a shame because I do really like the name Willow. The next name that I love is Avia. I think it is such a pretty name it's so girly it's quite unusual but the only reason that I wouldn't use it is because I feel like it would either get mistaken for Ava and also I'm not sure how this name would sound with other accents. Obviously my boyfriend is from Leeds so I would want the name to sound good in my accent and his accent and I don't know what it would sound like him saying Avia. Hi I'm just filming a video can you just send me a voice note of you saying saying the name Avia. Okay, so my boyfriend sent me a voice note of him saying Avia. In my accent, I really like it, but this is what it sounds like in a Leeds accent. Avia. It just doesn't sound the same, so that is the reason that I wouldn't use the name Avia. No offence, Tom, but I don't like the way it sounds in your accent. <laughs> the next name is kind of similar. Actually, it's not really similar at all. I don't know why I said that. But the next one is Evangeline. I feel like that is such a pretty name. It's really English, but I would be worried that it would be shortened to Evan. I would hope that it would be shortened to, like, Evie. I think that's quite cute. But I like Evangeline for a full name. I think it's a really pretty name. It reminds me a little bit of Nanny McPhee but I don't hate that. <laughs> I wish it wasn't like a common thing to naturally shorten people's names. Like, why have we got to be so lazy? Why have we got to do that? Why can't you just call someone their entire name unless they specify that they want you to shorten it? Life would be so much easier naming children that way. <laughs> the next name that I really love is Isabella. I prefer Isabella to Isabel, but I feel like Isabella would easily be mistaken like on the register at school or something like that for Isabel. But I do really like it when it's shortened as Izzy or Bella. I think Bella's really cute. That's my favourite shortening of that name. But I feel like Izzy is quite a common name and I don't really want my children to have the same name as other people in their class if I can help it. But if it was Isabella then I would name my child that because I think that's such a pretty name. The next name that I love is Harriet and I would shorten it to Harry for a girl but Harry with an I. I think that is absolutely adorable. I can imagine like a little six year old girl running around with her hair in plaits called Harry. I just think it's so cute and then Harriet is really English, very like prim and proper. I actually don't know why that's on my list as one that I wouldn't use because I would use that for a girl. The next name that I really love is Amelie with an A. I think this is such a pretty girly name. The only reason that I wouldn't use this is because Tom said he doesn't like this name and his reasoning for not liking the name is because he knew someone in school called Amelie. Personally that doesn't bother me but it bothers him so in turn it bothers me that he doesn't like the name but that is literally the only reason that I wouldn't use it. The next name that I really love for a girl is Lennon. I think it's a really unusual name. I first heard it when I saw Lennon and Maisie's YouTube channel. I feel like if you've got the name Lennon you have a head start in life because you're automatically like ultra cool. <laughs> However, I wouldn't use it because I'd be so paranoid about them going to school and other kids teasing them about being named after John Lennon. That might sound really stupid, I don't know how likely it is to happen with children, but I feel like when they get a little bit older, it could be something that really starts to get on their nerves. So for that reason, I wouldn't use it, but I do really like the name Lennon for a girl, and I think it's very highly unlikely 
there would be another Lennon in their class. And the final girl's name that I love is Darcy. I think it's such a pretty, again, a really English name. I quite like classic names, but names that aren't too popular. However, I feel like Darcy is on the rise a bit again, like it's getting a bit more popular, so that's probably the reason I wouldn't use that. But I think Darcy is a really nice name to like carry you through your entire life. When you're a baby, it's really cute. When you're growing up, it's a really nice name. When you're like a teenager, you can make it sound really cool. And then through adult life, you never sort of like outgrow your name. So I really do like that one. I just wish it wasn't as popular as it is. <laughs> okay, now moving on to boys' names. Boys' names I found a lot harder to think of, mostly because I feel like there are less boys' names, there's less creative boys' names. I found that it's either quite common or it's really out there. So the first name that I really like is Luca, spelt with a C because I wouldn't want it to be mistaken for Luke. Not really a fan of the name Luke, I'm going to be honest, but I do really like Luca. I think for a little boy it's really nice, but then I'm not sure if you could like outgrow the name. I think you probably could, so I wouldn't use it purely for that reason. The next name that I really like is Archie. I think that is a very cute name for a little boy. Again, it depends on like the accent that you're saying it in. I feel like a northern accent saying Archie would sound really harsh, but then I also feel like in an Essex accent, the CH is a really harsh sounding letter, like Archie, and I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of that. However, if I had a dog, I probably would call it Archie because I think it's a nice name for a dog. Just not so keen about calling my child that. The next name that I like for a little boy is Parker. I think that is really cute. It's the perfect amount of unusual for me. Like it's not a common name, but it's not super wacky. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why that one's on this list either because I would call my son Parker. I really like that. I think it's a very cute name. But again, the name is quite flexible. So when you grow up, you don't outgrow it. I think that's quite an important aspect to think of when you're picking a name for a child. Dunno, I've never done it. I'm not experienced but that's my guess. <laughs> the next name that I really like is Leo, but I don't like the longer versions of Leo, like Leon or Leandre. I'm not a fan of those names. I just like Leo. I like the name Leo, but I don't absolutely love it which is why I wouldn't call my child that. The next name that I love is Jackson. I think this one is really cute. However, it is quite American and I'm not really a fan of that. Also, if one day Tom and I get married and have children, which is what I'm hoping for, Tom's surname is Johnson, so Jackson Johnson doesn't sound good at all in my eyes. I've accepted that his name can't end with an S-O-N because it's too similar to the last name. So yeah, Jackson Johnson. Not a fan of that. And that leads me on to the next name, which is Harrison, which I also wouldn't use because of this reason. Harrison Johnson just doesn't sound good. However, if his surname wasn't Johnson, then I would fully like consider the name Harrison. And I wouldn't mind him occasionally being shortened to Harry. I feel like it would get on my nerves a little bit but I would definitely try and like install in his mind that his name is Harrison because I do much prefer the name Harrison to Harry for a boy. Harry for a girl is a different story. I really like that name. Harry for a boy is a bit too common for my liking. And the final boy's name that I really love is Bailey. I think it's really cute for a little boy, but then also as he grows older, I think the name Bailey is still really nice. I really like this name, but again, it's not like one of my ultimate favorites. My favorite boy's name on this list is probably Parker. So if I called a son any of these names, it probably would most likely be Parker out of these. And then from the girls list, I think my favourite names are probably Bluebell and Amelie. So those would be my highest contenders when naming a child, other than the names that I want to use. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm sorry that it was like a little bit random and I'm sorry if you're not really into baby names and stuff. I absolutely love babies and I find anything to do with babies so interesting, especially names. I feel like it's such a big part of your life and getting it right is so important. But those are the babies baby names that I love but for some reason or another I will not be using, at least I don't think I will be. Let me know down in the comments below what is your favourite girl's name and your favourite boy's name because I'm genuinely so interested in that and I would love to like see if I like any of your favourites, maybe add it to my list of potential names. But thanks for watching, I hope you have a lovely day slash week and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!